We're going to continue looking at using graphics mode to create embroidery for digitizer software. And in this segment, we're going to take a look at the interactive tool here. And there's several very interesting tool options available. So we have blend, we've got contour, we've got distort, we've got envelope, we've got extrude, and we've got the interactive fill tool. So I'll go ahead and take a look at each one of these tools and show you how you can convert those uh, the resulting embroidery you know topics into embroidery. So before I use these tools I need to first decide how I'm going to use them. So I think what I'll do to use the blend tool I'm going to create a polygon here and I'm going to make it blue and then I'll create another polygon oh basically right here and I'm going to make that one yellow. Alright, now I'm going to select this one and I'll just move it. Maybe I'll put it over here. How's that? So I'm going to zoom in over top of these two um, shapes that I just made. And now what I'm going to do is select this tool called Blend. And before I go ahead and do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these objects, both of these vectors, and I'm going to decide that they have no pen, no outline. I just think it looks nicer. Okay, so now we're going to use this blend tool here. So when I choose blend, and I'm going to click on the blue, and I'm going to drag the uh, little handle that comes out over to the yellow. And you can see what it did was it basically blended from blue to yellow, and from this shape to that shape. So I have two very similar shapes, but basically it contoured, or it, I guess it blended from the blue to the yellow, and it repeated. And up here in the tool options, one of the things you can see is that it was based upon 20 steps. All right, there's 20. It created 20 steps to go from blue to yellow, and I could increase that or decrease that. So, for example, if I made that be 40, it's much much less noticeable the blending versus if I made it I don't know 10 then you can quite clearly see that it's d d d the different steps of that so why don't we leave it at I don't know 20 was fine and let's see what happens if I take this object now and select it into embroidery and convert it into embroidery so the software did a, I think a pretty interesting job of doing that um, it certainly didn't give me 20 colors but it's decided to break it down into one, two, three, four, five different colors. And I really thought that was kind of an interesting effect. So that's the blend tool. And let's pop over to graphics mode and continue looking at the different interactive um, tools that we have available. So let's make another little um, polygon. And this time we'll use the tool contour. And so when I click on the center of this, um, when I click on this object and drag towards the center, it gives me a contour in the center and I can choose the size of it. Now when I let go, it contours that cent you know in like down to the center like that. Yeah, I'm not sure I did a great job of describing it, but that's basically how the tool works. So if I draw a shape, and then I choose that contour option. And if I start in the center and click and drag out towards the outside, I can actually make it go the other direction. Okay. And again, if I select one of these objects and tell it to convert it to embroidery, it creates the different layers that it can see to interpret. It interprets your vectors and creates embroidery for you. Yeah, so these are, you can see now where a very creative person is going to have just a ton of fun with all of these really new and interesting tools that we have in the graphics mode for embroidery. So I'm going to go ahead and keep, I'll keep creating new and interesting types of embroidery. So this time I'll create another polygon and we'll switch to using the, this is I guess the distort tool. And with the distort tool, I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to drag and you can see what it does. It creates um, well, it distorts it. So depending on what I'm just, I'm just clicking and dragging, and it's changing the shape. And when I let go, it'll give me that new shape. And I guess I could maybe make make it a little bit darker color. It'll just be easier to see what it did for the white. And so yeah, and again, if I want to convert that to embroidery, just click on convert to embroidery, and there's my new little 
distorted. So that was a polygon, and I used the distort tool to turn it into, I guess, an interesting little starburst. Yeah, so let's continue looking at that interactive fill tool in the graphics mode. And certainly these are some of the more fun tools in the in the tool palette. Um, we'll go ahead and create a, vac uh, create a vector. The next tool is called Envelope. And basically it gives you the ability to um, like squish your thing. And I found, actually I found this one um, worked maybe a little bit more, made more sense to me anyways, if I started with something like a rectangle. And so now if I choose this envelope tool, I could, for example, use it to um, distort the different sides of my rectangle. So this is just um, another way of reshaping an object, and it's called envelope. All right. And again, you want to convert it to embroidery, you know what you do. Hit the button. Converts it to embroidery. Switching back to graphics mode, and we'll take a look at Drood that's next. Yes. And this one's going to be fun. So first of all, I'm going to start with a, I'll start with a rectangle here. It filled in with green. I'm going to give an outline for this one so that we can see what it looks like with a bit of an outline. In fact, maybe I'll make the outline a little bit even more bold. Okay. And I'll zoom in on that a little bit. Looks good. Now, what I'm going to do is choose this tool here called Extrude. And again, I click on my shape and I start to move it away. Now, notice what I can do here. Um, the further I move it, the further away it gets. And I have the ability to move it to any direction I want. So we're basically creating a three-dimensional rectangle by doing this, or a box. Imagine creating a three-dimensional box. And so I'll pull it back like this. And when I let go, it made our box three, having multiple sides and a border for the whole thing like that. So that's, um, that's a pretty cool tool. And again, if I was to select all of that and then convert that into embroidery, you get a very three-dimensional looking box out of the out of the graphic that you've made so that tool was called extrude and we'll continue looking at the tools on this interactive toolbar and the last one is the interactive fill and I guess again I'm just gonna create a bit of a rectangle to start out with and um, if I choose this interactive fill tool and click on it and then drag the line you can see what it does is it basically gives a bit of an opaque opacity to um, the area. Now, I don't know, I don't like the outline on this, so I'm just going to choose outlines and make it none. That way you can see a little bit better what it's doing. So it's just a matter of feathering it together, I guess, something like that. Um, so it takes the green and it switches it to white. If you'd rather blend it with a different color, you can choose your different color. And you can, the further apart you, the further you pull this line away, the less of the second color you get. So the more you put it, the more you get. And you can bring the green line. So you can control. And then there's a little bit of a slider here to control sort of the, I guess, where the balance of it is. And yeah, so that's these are the things that you can control. Linear, and you can go to uniform or radial. or So there's many different choices for this. Isn't that interesting? So that tool was called the interactive fill tool. And so I don't know what the result will be, but if I take this now and try and convert it to embroidery, we got a one color embroidery out of that. So I'm not sure exactly if that's the intended use of that, but certainly in graphics mode, um, you have the ability to use this graphics mode to create vector graphics. And in fact, one of the things that I'm gonna be showing you to do is to create, um, take your embroidery and convert your embroidery into graphics. So that's one of the segments that's yet to come. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll move along now to the next tool on the toolbar, which is this um, drop shadow and transparency tool. So I'll just um, prepare my segment and come back with the next topic.